We're here at hole number four, a par four with 343 yards from the Blue Tees. Now, Jim, you told me earlier that this is like a replica of the Pebble Beach hole number 18. That's right. So That's where right. should I aim? Um, you pretty much just aim at the bunker or at a bit left of the bunker. Okay, so we should, shot. we should avoid the tree over there. Exactly. Okay, let's go and okay. heal. Jim, I'll try to knock this close for an, for an easy par, so where should I aim? I'd say a cup to the right. A cup to the right. And, and it, it's, is it uh, slow? It's slow. It's slow. slow. Go! In. Nice. There you right. go. Jim's tip really helped me out. Thus, the easy par. This is one of my favorite holes because you can really see the full view of the property. Beautiful. We are on our last hole for today's feature. The ninth is a par 3 with 143 yards from the Blue Tees. Well, Jim, this hole is visually intimidating, especially the cliff right there. So can right. you tell me what to do with this hole? Okay. Well, basically, you just aim at the bunker. Stay at the bunker and draw the ball towards you. So I'll try to do what you said and try to hook it a little. Okay, exactly. let's go. Okay. So, Jim, you have past palum grass for your fairways and for the greens, right? Right. From tea to green, we use uh, CIL Supreme past palum. And who maintains the golf course? Um, Santa Elena actually maintains it. Uh, they've been working on the uh, course since, since the construction phase. Oh, actually. wow. Jim, can you tell me more about the characteristics of the greens here in the cliffs? Um, well, on some of the holes, uh, the greens are not that deep, but they're pretty wide. So you have to make sure that uh, your balls would stop or bite. Um, at the same time, we have some greens that have a lot of undulations. Like this one? Like this one, which is uh, pretty difficult to read, actually. Mm -hmm. This is one of the best finishing holes I've played in quite intimidating and I can't help but love the view. This definitely deserves to be the signature hole of the cliffs. Well, time to wrap it up. If you're looking for a new place to enjoy tea time, relaxation and ocean views, then head up north to the Cliffs Golf and Beach Club. It's on the top of my list of favorite golf and vacation destinations here in the Philippines. And I know that you'll love it too when you visit. Beauty and complexity all in one location. I'd like to thank Jim for accompanying me and giving me strategies and tips that were really helpful. It's a wrap here in the golf course. It's Mark's turn to take it away in golf treats.